OK, we're going to have a quick look now, if you'll pardon the pun, at the Quick Calculator available in AutoCAD. It's another one of those tools that is very underrated, very underused, but it's very, very handy in an exercise like this. Again, I've got a drawing open, which is O2 Quick Calculator Complete. If you want to follow along, you need O2 Quick Calculator DWG. OK, I'm just going to pan across slightly to the left, like so. I'm trying to keep that circle in the screen area there. The reason being is I need that outer edge of the circle and I need to be able to select all the smaller circles as well. Right, let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got a perforated area calculation. So we've got 60 holes. These are the smaller circles. We've got a perforated area of 42411.5008. So that's the area total of all of those small circles. The total area i.e. the circle here, has that area there, 101787602. Percentage of total is 41.6667. I want that to become 42. So what I need to know is the total area here, 42% of that, so that I can put that into the perforated area, and then I can work out, divided by 60, what the area of each circle needs to be, to make that 42%. So it's very easy. I load up the calculator here on the utilities panel on the home tab. That'll take a few seconds to kick in. Now it is quite large. You can see that there because I'm in the scientific mode here. You can minimize all of this by hitting this button here. So I can go into basic calculator mode, which is actually all that I need to work this out. I don't need any of the scientific functions. So there's the total area there, okay? Now, what I could do here is I could copy and paste into the calculator. What I can do, though, is do something really neat. If I close that quick calc there a moment and then click on the circle, like so, that's the total area, and then go up to my View tab on the ribbon and go to Properties. There's the circle. Now, if I scroll down here, can you see I've got area 101787602? That's the area that I need in the table. So if I click there, I can run the calculator straight away. I've got that number in the calculator straight away. Much, much easier, much, much quicker. I select the object, run the calculator from the properties. So there's my area there. So I've got my area. Now, let's have a look. I need 42% of that. So I'm going to have to times that by 42%. Let's have a look. Have I got a percent button there anywhere? I don't seem to have. What I can do, though, is I can just expand this out a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll scroll down. Have I got a percentage anywhere? No, I haven't. Not a problem. What we do is we times that by 42%, which is 0.42, like so. Very, very easy. I can then just press Enter, and it calculates that value for me. That's in the red at the top there. 42750.7928. I now need to divide that by 60. So I divide by 60 because I've got 60 holes, and I press Enter again. So there's the value that the area of each small circle needs to be. Now I can just highlight that, right click, and copy it, like so. I can close the quick calc now because I've got the value I need. And what I do now is I hit Escape a couple of times in the drawing area, select one of the small circles, or do I select all of them? You need to select all of them. So you can just click, drag a crossing selection across like so. Doesn't matter if you get the big circle. I'll show you how to lose that in a moment. So let's get every single circle. You might need to pan upwards a little bit to get them all, and you just drag it all across like that. Make sure you get every single circle, and then holding down Shift, click on the outer circle. There's the area value there. So I click in there. And then what I do is I can right click and I can paste, paste that value in. Job done. Close the properties palette and hit escape to deselect. I'll just zoom out a little bit. and I'm going to zoom in on the table now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a regen because it hasn't actually calculated those areas yet. So if I regenerate that, watch the table. Everything updates. Perforated area is now 42% of the total. Very quick and easy, just using the calculator built into AutoCAD and a bit of properties palette and a little bit of selection there using the crossing selection and holding down shift to deselect the bigger circle. 
So that's how you utilize the quick calculator in AutoCAD again to make you work smarter and faster.